get ready to do the truffle, the truffle shovel truffle. and search for some lost treasure on this week's Thirsty Thursday. The inaugural McMinniman's Goon Fest Brew Fest is happening this Saturday on the coast. It's the first of its kind beer tasting event inspired by the classic film, if you couldn't tell, The Goonies, which was mostly filmed in Oregon. Joining us now with a sneak peek of all the nostalgic fun coming to Gearheart is Rachel Flesher, McMinniman's district manager for theaters and special events. Good morning. Good morning. Appreciate Thank you for the having time. me. Yeah, so glad you're here. Okay. So many fans of the Goonies out there. Yeah, this there. is one of your favorite movies. This is what's one of my favorites, yeah. and especially a lot of just people you know, born and raised in Oregon, mm -hmm. when they go and see Haystack Rock and go up to Astoria, they yep. just love to be able to relive all the history. So with that said, what can people expect at Goonfest? Well, first thing is the weather is looking like it's going to be gorgeous. Yeah. So that works in our favor. It is outside on the lawn, so um, it's going to be chill. You can bring your family. Uh, kids can run around. We'll have cornhole. Um, we're going to have a treasure hunt. Ooh, fun. Yeah, fun. like a real treasure hunt with oh. a map and everything. Oh, so, nice. Um, plenty of things to get keep entertained. Lots of food, drinks, just a chill fun night. Fun for yeah. the whole family. Yeah. Really I mean, fun day. Honestly, nice day on the coast. You're set with just that. And yeah. then everything yeah. else is just a plus. Let's talk about what's going to be on tap. you got some fun beers mm -hmm. and ciders from McMinniman's and some other brewers. Yeah, we kept it local uh -huh. to the coast, so um, we have different breweries like Fort George, Astoria, Seaside Brewing, Bowie, um, Pelican. So a lot of the coastal of staples. Coast, yeah, it's all about the coast. Well, and I know I've seen it on different like labels and names of beers and ciders before. Are some of these inspired by the Goonies or a little oh, yes. a little nod to the Goonies. All the names are are very fun. Nice. So <laughs> that's a little secret on the menu to see all the fun names. Mm -hmm. okay. And we'll have a 19th hole tap at our sandbar, which is out on the golf course. And um, you can't walk through, you have to walk around, but we have a people mover that will just move people back and forth all nice. day. Nice. So. Uh -huh. Well, and you said that you got the treasure map activity, obviously mm -hmm. uh, a nod to the movie there, yep. a nod mm -hmm. to the movie there. And so just yeah, a little bit of background on the venue itself. So you have out in Gearheart the, at the McMinnimans, you have the hotel, but mm -hmm. it's it's in the restaurant and it's plopped as the pro shop mm -hmm. to the mm -hmm. golf course, mm -hmm. which is the oldest public course west of the Mississippi River, Correct. which is quite the claim. Um, it's a beautiful spot, and I've been several times for golfing purposes, but not for Goon Fest, obviously, because <laughs> no. that hasn't happened yet. yet. So the lawn really is stunning, and you were saying, yeah, so there's the, there is that golf course that you walk through mm -hmm. to get to, what's the name of the bar out there where you said that that's going to uh, be? The Sandbar. The Sandbar. The Sandbar. Now, and there what? is a, put, a putting green out there as well, and we will have... Um, putting competition out there. For oh, the day. Fun. So fun. I mean, the venue really is, it's special it's and gorgeous. it's historic. Yeah. 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 Really cool. Historic, gorgeous. Um, it's going, the weather's going to cooperate, which is so lovely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah, it's just going to be quite a wonderful day. I will be there all day. Mm -hmm. So yeah. come say hi to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be, it's going to be a really fun time. And if you haven't had a chance to check out Gearheart, you know, that's, it's one of the yeah. smaller communities on mm -hmm. the coast. So it might not see as much of the tourist traffic, right? As some of, uh, you know, like a, a Lincoln City or the Gannon yeah, Beach Seaside right, area. It's right there by Seaside, But yeah. it's just, it's tucked right in there. It's yeah. just so cute and quaint. I love it. Um, so if people want to plan their trip for Goon Fest, mm -hmm. uh, tickets, where to get them, what should they know? Um, CascadeTickets.com. Um, we still have plenty of tickets available. Mm -hmm. They're a little bit cheaper in advance, but you can still purchase day of. And so, what exactly does the ticket to Goonfest get you? It gets you a, a glass that has like oh, nice. a logo a on it. Uh -huh. glass, a logo yeah. glass that you get to keep and 10 tokens. So that's good for 10 different samples. Pick and choose. You can buy extra mm -hmm. tokens if you want to taste more things. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, that's it. Awesome. And get to some all good the fun. stuff. The gate to all the beers. Yeah, it's all <laughs> the beer, all the sun, chilling on the lawn. Yeah. Not not a bad time at all. What else is on tap for McWinnemans this summer? It's always a, oh, always wow. a busy time of so year. So many things. Um, we have multiple other brew fests. Edgefield has a two night brew fest with a brewer's intimate dinner the night before, which is nice. You can sample early. We oh, saw nice. tickets Whoa. left for that, so okay. you can look online for that. Um, CPR, Cornelius Pass Roadhouse, is having a really fun, more family-friendly brew fest, lots of music, and like in through there, they have sort of a wooded back area, so we're going to have a cornhole tournament for that one. Nice. nice. Yeah, really that'll fun. be fun. Yeah. Summer um, concerts on the lawn, Grand Lodge on the lawn. and Edfield. Yes. Oh, like, such a good time. Those are always so fantastic. Those are top of my mind, because I was just looking at the lineup yesterday, thinking, okay, what am I going to go <laughs> yeah. to this year? I've, yeah. got, I've got one or two that are very circled in a red circled marker on the calendar. On the calendar. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. it's going to be a great time. 
time. Rachel, thanks for joining Thank us so this much. morning. Thank you so much. It's really nice And enjoy Goon Fest. Thanks. It's going to be a great time. A lot of truffle shuffle. Especially it's after a couple be... beers, there's going to be a lot of truffle shuffling oh, happening It's going to be there. so much fun. Drive responsibly. Yes, yes responsibly. absolutely. <laughs> Stay at the hotel. Truffle shuffle over to the hotel if you need a place to stay. <laughs> yep. Again, the McMinimans inaugural Goon Fest Brew Fest. It's happening this Saturday, June 8th, 1 to 7 p.m. on the lawn at the Gearhart Hotel. Go to McMinimans.com for tickets and all the info you need. Well, tomorrow on AM Extra, it's a sweet edition.